everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the 2020 Subaru Crosstrek in the limited package. So first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to Mark Miller Subaru for providing us with this Crosstrek. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for any type of Subaru. And then as always, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the car, then we're gonna take it out and see how it drives. Let's get right into it. Under the hood here, we have a two liter boxer four cylinder that goes to a CVT automatic transmission. The fuel company is 27 around town and then 33 on the highway with power outputs being 152 horsepower and then 145 pound feet of torque. Let's go over the front end of the cross track. If you're wondering what this color is called, it's uh, cool khaki. But <laughs> all jokes aside, you can see that the hood is just like what's on the Impreza, which we will actually compare this to that later today. But regardless, we do get these nice projector bulbs with the little LED accent lights that run right around them. Subaru's signature front end grille, and perfect, there's an Impreza right next to it, so you can kind of see the subtle differences between them. And then the fog lights are just down below there. And then notice that they make the bottom of the bumper a little bit more durable, because you are supposed to be able to take the cross trek on the off-road. And then I'm just gonna sweep around here so you guys can see a front end look. Here on the side here, got 225 millimeter tires and 18 inch rims. And I love the design of the rim. It looks kind of like a star, but then it's kind of like dancing with all of its arms and such. But regardless of that, I like the fender flares that come all the way around again. It's supposed to make it so that you can take it off road. And obviously it would, instead of scratching the car, it would scratch the fender flares. And then it allows you to put a little bit more tire on the car as well. But here's kind of like your sort of side-ish angle on it. Here's our key fob for the Crosstrek. Now, the top button is the lock, the unlock is the Subaru logo, and then you press this, and that basically just unlocks the rear of the car, but you still have to pick it up yourself. It is on hydraulic struts. Now, coming into the back here, we do get a cargo cover, and well, it's covering cargo. Now, there are two sets of floor mesh. You get the rubber ones, and you get these cloth ones as well. And then here's just a look at the loading floor down below, but I mean, in terms of storage space, once I move this cargo cover away, you can kind of see just how much space there is in the rear. And then when you are done with everything in the rear, there's this little handle that you can grab, but it's much easier just to grab the top of it and pop it down like that. Now let's finish things up in the rear. I love the crossbars at the top of the cross track. They look absolutely crazy. And then the taillights, they've made them look a lot more modern compared to the previous generation. It just looks so much more modern, a lot sleeker, all that kind of stuff. And then we do have the cross track badging, super badging, all that kind of stuff. And then notice again, the bumper here, how it's kind of like rounded out. Obviously, again, to protect from the off-road, that's kind of why they make the bumpers out of that material. But yeah, that's pretty much everything for the back. Coming to the rear of the Crosstrek, we've got the door panel in the back here, which I actually really like the materials on the door panel. So you've got like the faux carbon fiber trim right here, and then you got this soft touch right here that's got these little perforations, and it's actually really soft to the touch. And then you've got more leather down here with the contrasted stitching. It's kind of like, it's orange, but then it's closer to, it's like a more of a brownish orange in person, but still orange nonetheless. Now here are these seats in person and they are full leather seats in this limited package. They've got more of that stitching on them. And then if we do pop in, which I've got to kind of duck just a little bit, I've got a ton of room in here actually. So I've got the seat where I'd have it sat at. I'm about five foot 11 and leg room's fine. Headroom, I'm fine on that as well. And looks like I got this little uh, cup holder thing. Yeah, look at that. Got some cup holders. And yeah, I mean, that is pretty much everything for the rear of the Crosstrek. Coming to the front, we've got Kia Sentry. So one touch to lock it and then to unlock it, you just have to slip your hand on the back of the door handle. Now, the trim on the front is similar to the one on the back, but there's a couple differences. So just this whole area is a little bit bigger because the door is bigger itself. But notice that you've got like gloss finish on the faux carbon fiber instead of the kind of like matte finish in the material on the back. Got all of your window controls right here, and then you've got your little mirror adjuster. And then you do have one of the speakers for the Harman Kardon sound system. Now here are the seats in the front of the Crosstrek, very nicely bolstered and just the feeling of them is very soft. And I love how they do this like design detail a little bit. So it's the perforations, but they don't just do regular perforations. They kind of do it in like a honeycomb design. It just makes it look a little bit nicer. And then there are all the adjustments on the side of the seat, which it is power adjustable. Here's the pedal light at the bottom. And then we have a couple controls in this area. So you've got like your stability control, auto stop, start, and then to turn off the blind spot and monitoring. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And there's one more look before we pop in. Now that we're in the Crosstrek, all we have to do is press that. 
Gages will do their normal sweepity sweep. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it today. Infotainment system will start up all that kind of stuff. And then zooming out, you can see the steering wheel here in the Cross Trek. Subaru logo actually looks really nice in this lighting. But zooming in, you have the controls for the cruise control and it is adaptive. And then this is your lane keep assist on it. And then you got like your phone controls, buttons, all that kind of stuff. And this is for the little center screen. And then that orange stitching is also on the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel is a little bit grippier with the leather, which makes sense, especially if you take this on the off road. Light stock is on that side. And then you got your windshield wiper stock on the other side. And we've got all of our gauges here in this little area. So we've got RPMs on the left side and then on the right side, you've got the speed. And then right there in the center, there's those little menus that you can scroll through using those buttons that I showed you before. And basically just shows you different bits of information on the vehicle, but I like it to be just a little speedo. I just wanted to briefly show this little screen before we pop into the infotainment system. It's on top of the dash and I'll show you where it's located after we go over the details on it. Basically just shows you like your fuel range, fuel economy, the time, temperature outside, and then also on the climate controls. So you can see if I change the climate controls that'll also pop up on that screen. So it's kind of like a second screen just to show more information on the car. And it's at this top part of the dash. So you have a little center stack, then you got that little screen right there, which the sign is completely blacking it out. So hopefully you can kind of see it. And then you have the center touch screen. Here's the center infotainment system. We are gonna pop it in reverse. So you guys can see the little backup camera that pops up there are trajectory lines. So those will turn with the steering wheel, pretty standard setup nowadays. But for the rest of the infotainment system, it's pretty simple. Most of this stuff is on that little homepage. You notice the other pages are for you to add shortcuts to them. But touchscreen response time on it is relatively good. And the cool part is you do get all these analog buttons down below it. So if you like to use buttons, you still have them on this. And then also for the radio. Now down below, we do have the climate controls and it is a single zone climate here in the Crosstrek. And it's kind of cool. You get more of the little orange stitching in this little area just to kind of bring everything together. And then down here, there's a couple USBs and a 12 volt and then some just extra storage in front of them. This is the transmission for that CVT automatic. Now it does mimic a geared transmission, if that makes sense. So you can manually shift with it. They've got these little paddles. Obviously a CVT doesn't have gears, but it does mimic a transmission that has gears with the manual shift function, if that makes some sense. Got a regular little e-brake right here on this side and then heated seats, which I accidentally had turned on and I was wondering why it was getting so hot inside. And then you do have this X mode, which will pop up in the center screen right there. So you notice that I put the X mode on. This is basically your off-road driving mode. And then you have the other two modes, which are on this little part of the steering wheel that you can scroll between on the cross track. But the X mode is gonna be the main one that you're gonna use because that's your off-road driving mode. A couple cup holders in this little area. And then we do have the center console, which does have another little 12 volt in it. And there's a little thread through where you can put a cable through it and some USBs in there too. More of that leather with the contrast stitching, which I really enjoy. And that actually continues onto the dash over here. You can see that the dash has more of that stitching. It's all throughout the interior. And then opening up the glove box, it's actually really big. I wasn't expecting it to be that big in a car that's this size, but Massive glove box and the trim above it's actually really nice as well. On top we have our little lights which you just have to press them to turn them on or off. This one actually does have a little sunroof, just a regular sunroof, so just with a manual shade. Nothing that you guys haven't seen before. And then this is the control to turn off the lane departure assistance and then you have the collision assistance which you can turn off. So those buttons are just up at the top and then it is a lighter colored headliner. And then obviously you've got the darker colored bottom part. Now that we're done going over the interior on the Crosstrek Limited, let's quickly go over pricing. So this particular Crosstrek Limited stickers for about $31,000 before any type of market adjustment, which I mean, that's pretty good. It's an all wheel drive hatchback SUV thing. There's kind of, it's kind of in that gray area. Sort of some people call it an SUV. Some people call it a crossover. Some people call it a lifted hatchback. Doesn't matter what you call it, $31,000. <laughs> let's Take the cross truck out and see how it drives. Let me quickly show all of you visibility and talk about seating position before we set off. So first off on seating position, you're kind of a little bit raised off the ground in terms of how you feel. So it's not like a car, it feels like you're just a little bit above the car and it makes sense because this is basically a lifted hatchback. 
visibility over the hood it's really good it's easy to see out of and then you can see visibility through both of the mirrors and then throughout the rear as well it's actually really easy to see all around and so yeah you're solid from a visibility standpoint we are setting off here in the 2020 crosstrek limited and let's talk about road noise and ride quality so first and foremost on the ride quality side of things it's actually really smooth and I actually drove a bunch of Lexuses this week for reviews and just to give you guys kind of an idea of how smooth this rides this is super similar to that and Lexus obviously is a luxury brand so that's really what Subaru is going for is they're kind of trying to make their cars more tuned towards like the luxury side you can definitely feel that with the ride quality now in terms of the road noise I hear a little bit from the tires. It's definitely, I would put it kind of like on the lower tier for tire noise. It's definitely more on the quiet side. However, you still can hear them. We're making our first turn here in the cross trek and the steering is very light, but it's also really direct actually. So there's not a whole lot of play. There is a little bit, but there is a pretty minimal amount again in terms of where I would put this compared to most cars is I would put it just right in the middle making it just a little bit more direct than most cars in the market and then in terms of the steering feel how light it is I would say that it's definitely on the lighter side I mean like no effort at all well I've got her over on the manual mode and we're gonna get our massive acceleration here Pedals are actually <laughs> pretty responsive. I wasn't expecting that from a CVT, but the acceleration on it is adequate. Um, in terms of where I'm gonna put that, again, it's right where it should be. But the benefit again is this gets really good fuel economy, especially for a wagon, SUV, crossover, whatever you wanna call it. But yeah, these pedals, again, responsiveness on them is pretty good. Even on the downshifts, I press the paddle and there's not a whole lot of lag between shifts, so I'm really impressed with that on the transmission side of things. Let's get into summing things up for the 2020 Crosstrek and where this really stands. So I actually really like the Crosstrek because it has a lot of safety tech, especially in this limited package. I mean, you get everything. And on top of all the safety tech, you get the symmetrical all-wheel drive, which is great on the off-road and in winter conditions. And on top of that, you get a car that is very well known for long-term reliability, and it's at a really reasonable price. Like, a lot of this safety tech that is on this car is not standard on cars that are a lot more expensive than it. And so it's like, you get so much value for the money, and I think that's what Subaru is really about, right? You get the reliability, you get the value, and you get the safety as well. It just kind of hits all those boxes. And because of that, I think that the Crosstrek's an awesome car to go for. So if you're wanting to spend somewhere in that $30,000 range, definitely check out the Crosstrek Limited. And obviously they've got some that are less expensive than that. And there we have it, everyone. The 2020 Subaru Crosstrek in the Limited trim package. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to Mark Miller Subaru for providing us with the Crosstrek. Check out their inventory in the link below if you're in the market for a new Subaru. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe and then I will see all of you in that next video. Video.